you are traveling to the Philippines or are planning to do so, watch this before you do. Five things I wish I knew before coming to the Philippines. And this might be controversial. Number one. If you think about the Philippines, you think about blue lagoons, crystal clear waters and tropical islands. Calm white beaches, living wildlife and coconut drinks for your relaxing vacation. But I'll be completely honest with you. The water only seems so blue on the camera. In reality, the water isn't that blue, it's quite dirty most of the time. Only with the right sunlight, it shines blue. Here on the camera, it seems so beautiful, but even lakes in Switzerland are sometimes more blue than this. The beaches are bash beaches, they are not really white and the sand is more on the mid corny side instead of white powder. You will find bigger stones and small stones. And if you think you find calm places, you're wrong. Tourists everywhere. And not only a few groups, look at these people. Even at the beaches far away there are a Filipino sailor who tries to rip you off. More on that later. Number 2. The food. My most important topic. You might think you get tropical fresh fruits everywhere, delicious Filipino food and good drinks. In reality, you barely find fresh fruits. Flies all over them, the seller on the streets sell you unripe bananas, Filipino food is most of the time fried, so you will eat pretty unhealthy and they love fast food. Let's be honest, Topsilok, crispy patata, lechon, all is just meat and rice and sisig is way too fatty. The best food we had in the Philippines was Thai food or hipster bowls, which is definitely not Filipino. Number 3. The people. I only knew very friendly Filipinos back in my home country, so I expected the same for the Philippines. But I was wrong. All the people we met just wanted to get the money out of our pockets. They seem friendly at the beginning, but soon you start to realize they only do it for your money. You get hustled everywhere, from the airport until you leave the airport. Not even done then. Stuff gets stolen out of your bag at the airport and you will find the surprise on your next destination. Hotel people don't fulfill their promise like the Hotel 1521 in Cebu where they say you can use their beach pool all the time, which is simply not true. Don't fall for the scams. Number 4. Same same but different. I've been to Thailand, Bali, Malaysia, Vietnam and many more Southeast Asian countries. And all of them are basically the same. Touristy spots where the beaches actually would be beautiful, but the locals build so many bars and massage saloons that it becomes a full party city. The islands look everywhere the same, the restaurants try to sell you their version of pizza or seafood. Seriously, it's all the same everywhere. There is one exception though, Sri Lanka. The friendliest people I've ever met and not overflown by tourists. But that's for another video. Subscribe if you don't want to miss that. But let's not spread too much negativity. Number 5. The good things. But before that, please make sure to support me and subscribe. Don't be one of the 98% who don't follow me. Thank you. There are actually some really nice hotels in the Philippines, but they will cost you a lot. But then you receive the service you deserve for your vacation. For example here at the Crimson Resort and Spa in Mactan, Cebu. Beautiful pool and for once good food. A really good thing is almost everybody speaks English, so to ask for help or directions is really easy. Ordering food as well goes pretty well and I love that they always repeat your order so it's always right. The highlight of our trip was to dive with the whale sharks. I did this in Mexico but I never came so close to them. Yes, it's very touristy but totally worth it. Find in the top right corner a video about our experiences of the whale sharks in Cebu. And there are many cool activities you can do in the Philippines, like climbing, diving and there is a good amount of animals around. Now you know everything I wish I knew before traveling the Philippines. It's never always pretty happy life, but I expected more. What are your thoughts about the Philippines? 
Let me know down in the comments and see you next time.